Lou, I'm so happy it's back. We've got color. We've got you. What more do we want, right? What more could you ask for? Yeah, this is the origami piece that everybody wants for their home in those tighter spots. Um, it has all the strength of our regular full-size origami racks, has the powder-coated steel that we've come to expect, but it has a more decorator-friendly style and footprint. So let's go over a couple things with this one just to show you what the differences are. For instance, one of the first things you're going to notice is if I flip this top shelf over here is that our shelves are perforated, okay? So instead of being the wire shelves, you're getting perforated shelves when you buy this bookshelf. If I flip it back up, what's underneath that right there? Lattice work, so you're getting the lattice work on the sides of this. These shelves are about two feet across in depth this way. If I turn it like this, two feet this way, by about a foot deep this way. So smaller footprint than our regular rack, but you're getting all that same strength. Now, how's it gonna to arrive to your home? Well, you know it's origami, so it's gonna come flat packed in a cardboard box looking something like that. It's only about four inches wide. All you're gonna to do to set it up is, well, guess what? There is no assembly. You just grab the sides, you pull it open like that. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see the back here. There's the world famous origami toggle. All you've gotta do is stick this through, push down just like that. Now the bottom of this, is already rigid just by doing that. Isn't that amazing? And then you just flip the top over like this. There's one little latch right here and you just drop that into place just like that. Now, when you look at this, there are six shelves on here, okay? On the bottom of this are what we call leveling feet. And those are used when you have an uneven surface on the floor. So if I come down to this foot right here, if I rotate this clockwise, it's gonna go down. If I rotate it counterclockwise, it'll go back up into the frame. So depending on the level of your floors, you just adjust the feet to get it nice and level. Now, the impact this is gonna have on you is when you have the leveling feet on it, we recommend you limit yourself to uh, 50 pounds per shelf, which is giving you a 300 pound weight capacity for this, which is a lot. But if you don't have to use the feet because maybe you've got a concrete floor if it's perfectly level in there, then you can go up to 70 pounds per shelf. There's six shelves. That's gonna be a 420 pound weight capacity on this rack in total, which is a lot. Now remember, since these are powder coated steel, you could use these just about anywhere. I mean, even outdoors if you wanted to. But look how simple they are to set up. If you've ever had to build a bookshelf in your life, and I'm talking out of particle board or even out of plastic, you know it takes a lot of time. You know you gotta follow the directions. With origami, it's done in minutes, and you can literally put this anywhere in the house you want to. Use it a bookshelf or anything else you'd like. Isn't that right, Shannon? It, it is, through the magic of television. I am back. You, trans you transported over here. I, I transported over here. I just, I think it's so pretty. We were talking about this recently. The mm -hmm. yellow just makes me smile. Oh, we should go through the colors. We should indeed. So, I, in fact, well, you, let's do all the colors, and then I'll give you okay. quantity updates well, as so, we do that. Okay, here's that nice soft yellow yeah. that we just came wow. out with this year. Really? 500 Ooh. only. Okay, only. On right, move this guy out okay. of the way. Sounds good. And let's start down here, and then we've I'm got the end. platinum okay. right here. Platinum is the closest to stainless steel, so if you're someone out there that wants stainless, right. this. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're doing okay on, on the platinum. Okay, okay. Good, good. Sage, Sage, right there, beautiful, Gorgeous. nice soft green. Okay. okay. The blue. Navy blue. Navy blue. All right. Everybody, uh, oh, blue, Ooh. 500 only on that navy blue. Very popular. Love the white. Beautiful, crisp, clean white. Okay, we'll talk about some uses for that. Okay, sorry okay. about that, Dustin, trying to <laughs> maneuver the waters, as it were. Um, vintage bronze, okay, another perennial favorite right here. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Black. Love the black. Uh, okay, and then the orange. Beautiful orange. I love the orange. Uh, 600 only on that orange. Okay, and then the emerald on the end here. Or is it jade? Yeah, it's emerald. Okay, okay. we're calling it emerald. We're calling it emerald. Okay, emerald. So just so you realize, yellow limited, orange is limited, navy mm -hmm. blue is limited. When I say you're gonna find, a, Oh, emerald green, they're only 300. Ah. There are over 1,000 reviews, over 1,100 reviews. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, for me, the, well, this is and not just for me, but for you. This was a customer request where people oh, yes. love the idea of origami. Exactly. But they're like, can't you make it a little prettier? Yeah, you smaller know? footprint. Yeah, a smaller footprint. A little more decorator friendly. Exactly. And we did. And But the thing that I love about this, and we talked about this recently, mm -hmm. is it really utilizes that vertical space. It does. Well, you know, and here's what's interesting so you know the full-size rack that we yes. started selling originally which yep. is it's much more bigger has a much right. bigger footprint yeah. those shelves are three feet by about uh, 18 inches okay. deep okay <clears throat> and the difference is with those they're only four shelves high 
Right. Okay. With this, since we've got six shelves, now these may only be two feet long by a foot deep, right. but there's six of them. Yeah. So if you do the math on this, you're getting 12 linear feet of storage with right. this, just like you do on the larger rack. Yeah. See yeah. what I mean? It's I just do. laid out differently. It, it, it is. And the thing is, when I, when I say you're going <laughs> to... Origami, they are like potato chips. You'll definitely want more than one. You'll make great use of this, whether it's for storing your extra cookware mm -hmm. or your appliances. Then go for that platinum because if you've got brush stainless in your kitchen, it's perfect. That'll look great. For, for, perfect for me for the laundry room. Oh, I, well, you know what? I love the laundry room idea. And actually, it was when I worked with you the other day that I'm like, that's exactly what I need. Right. I only have one cupboard space is completely inadequate, but it's not a really big room. It's like a sure. little closet yeah. i mean more or less right but i've got stuff you know I've you got, have things you I've, well, I've got stuff at the very minimum you've probably got detergent and fabric softeners for sure. if nothing else <laughs> and so like for a lot of people what they do is they store it on top of the washing machine yes and then you're I've constantly it. moving it every yes. time you're you know and the dryer so yeah. this fits great in a little tiny space like that and yes because it is that powder coated steel you don't need to worry if you drip detergent or bleach or something right. on it. you know what i mean you can just yeah. hose it down what about for a bathroom a lot of yeah. people have pedestal sinks in their for bathrooms sure. yeah nowhere to store anything. Nope. This gives you all that extra storage space. I like what you were saying before about for the kitchen with your kitchen electrics oh, and things. Oh, for sure. Well, a lot of people like white as an accident yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, they so do. Well, and what's interesting that. about that too, we mm -hmm. have color in our kitchen. Our appliances are, yeah. you know, teal. They're yeah. turquoise. Yeah. They're, they're orange. They're red. They're fun appliances They're, they're fun appliances. Yeah. And so you do want to show them off in addition to solving some of your storage needs. Right. I'm telling you, powder bath, you'll never look any further because especially if you have a pedestal sink which I do in one of my bath areas and then it's like okay where do I put the toilet paper where do I put exactly. the, you know the stuff to clean the commode all right. the things yeah that, where's that all going where, where does it all go this is perfect but also I, I'm I've been inspired by a lot of the gardening shows that we're doing here now I'm, yeah. I've got like a little herb garden I'm growing lavender I'm growing basil These I'm growing awesome tomatoes and because it is coated right I still don't have to worry about anything well that's why we left the shelves perforated too because right. you know the thing about a bookshelf is we put smaller trees and, sure. and we don't want anything to fall through the shelves. Yeah. So what we've done here is instead of having those wire shelves, we put the perforations so that we could, yes, prevent small things from falling through. Right. Makes sense. But give you the airflow and the water drainage that people want. Because right. a lot of people do use this for planting, they for do. herb gardens, for all that. For, and now refresh my memory, because yeah. see, I use mine without the levelers, without mm -hmm. the feet. How much can I store in each? Okay, thing? without the feet, yeah. 70 pounds per shelf, which is a total of 420 oh, pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, without the feet. With the feet, 50 pounds per shelf, that's still 300 pounds. Wow. Try that with particle board. Yeah, no kidding. It's so funny because, I, I like I said, I use mine without, and I've got them in a couple of different areas in, uh -huh. in my home, and boy, I put these suckers to task. I'll just tell you that yeah, right as now. You, as you should. It's origami. Yeah. It, it is. And it's, it's so much more than books. I know we call yeah. it the book, but that's... Yeah. You know, we, we should call it the everything shelf, we but we don't. Call but it we the should call it that. Shelf, well, just because sure. so many people use it in different rooms throughout the house, in the baby's room, in the dining room, in the, you know, you can use it in um, the kitchen. You can use it, right. in, we were saying, in the laundry room, yeah. the bathroom. Baby's I mean, this just room. works everywhere. Dormitory, I'm telling oh, you, we've, we've talked a lot about this. The best dorm furniture. Best dormitory furniture, because remember, it's still, it collapses. So it's yeah. not a hassle to put together. I know Lou was talking about particle board uh, just a few moments ago, and Boy, oh boy, I remember those days too where you cut the bookcase in half to get it back down oh, the stairs Oh, to get it out? Again. Yeah, absolutely. It's insane. I mean, watch this because this is the amazing thing. When you look at it in all these different environments and you see how versatile it is, think about this, that this is going to be the easiest thing you've ever set up and the easiest thing you've ever had to break For down. Sure. Because when I open it, I mean, within seconds, I just open it like that, it falls open. I do those two latches I showed yep. you earlier and watch how simple it is. And that's done. That's it. That's it. If I want to break it down, Smart. I do this in reverse. And very quickly and easily, we can take this out to the car, yep. throw it in the back. And we're gone. You know, you're, you're not you're not renting a trailer. No. You know, to haul the kids' furniture back and forth to college. I, I just I think it's brilliant. And yeah. we are doing a price break, so it's a price adjustment. It's a little over twenty dollars, so twenty four dollars and change to get it at home. The agony and expectation of trying to put something together alone pays for itself. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it's a perfect way to solve the storage problems without creating another storage issue. It looks pretty. It collapses it. So if you don't need it all the time, you'll find a 
million different places in your home for this. Uh, I also, you know, what? I need one for the top of my stairwell. There's this one oh, okay. little itty bitty wall, you yeah. know, that needs yeah. kind of something. And boy, I can use all the storage help and assistance I can get. Oh yeah. It's just the perfect size to fit in all those little nooks and corners where we don't have a lot of room, but sure. we need something. Yeah, because you know why? This is storage and it's decor all at the same it time, is. which is amazing because some of the larger pieces, like you said, people just don't have yeah. the room inside for them. No. But this one, absolutely all day long, but it still has that strength for and durability sure. oh, that absolutely. we like in origami. Uh, so if you do want the blue, there are only a couple hundred of the blue. I think there are only a couple hundred of the orange. And then uh, and the emerald green is also very mm -hmm. limited. So only a couple hundred available. I will tell you when your color goes, it, it takes forever for us oh to get these gosh. back into inventory. In fact, it was funny, Lou and I were on the air a couple days ago with this and we already sold out of, I think, well, at, at least- We two had a couple three. more colors. We did. So just a few days ago. Just in the last 24, 24 48 hours, yeah. I think we lost, I think three or four colors Gone. already. So yeah. when you see what you like, you really should act quickly and and we don't do the bookcase as often. I know you're seeing a lot of those reviews rotate at the bottom of your screen, but boy, to get 1,100 people to rave about this, we haven't even been deal. selling the bookcase that long. I know That's you the, cr 